Hello guys, Sapphire Yaga. I'm going to review of The Big Bang Theory, episode 2. In this episode, obviously we're continuing where we left off last, um, the last episode, where um, Leonard and Penny are still not talking to each other because she still can't get over the kiss. And so, um, Leonard, the show actually starts off with Leonard having actually having a nightmare. Well, um, he's talking to Penny and Sheldon comes in and gives us, um, Gives his opinion stating that in order to pretty much for Penny probably to feel better that she would have to get back at Leonard by pretty much kissing another guy. So then <laughs> Sean says, I'm doing this for my, trying to save my friend's marriage and he kisses Penny. And Penny like gets all this up, like she even puts a leg up and then, you know, Leonard wakes up. He's like, <gasps> now that was an interesting nightmare. Like for real, of all people for you, for Leonard to imagine to kiss Penny is Sheldon. Like of all people, really Sheldon, Sheldon. But that was hot though. I, I, thought, it was, I thought it was real for me. And I was like, hold on. You going to have to tell Amy about this too. <laughs> and so he wakes up. So they eventually do talk and, um, Sheldon when they actually do wake up and it almost seems like Sheldon's about to actually do the dream thing that um, Leonard had. So he was like wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And so, but Sheldon suggests though that um, why don't Penny just meet Mandy? And Leonard's like no. And then Penny's like why can't I meet him? And they get to that whole situation. So Leonard does talk to Mandy when he goes back to you know work. And Le Mandy apparently the kid, did, the kiss didn't even phase her because she she actually asked him, "Did I sleep with you too?" Because that's how drunk she was. Apparently, she, she that apparently she does that. So to her, the kiss wasn't a big deal, but to Leonard, it is. And so, and she actually tells Leonard that why did you tell her? Because that kiss really wasn't a big deal. And she goes into maybe you're trying to you know sabotage your relationship, which they go back into. A situation that happened, you know, previous season, you know, where there was a suggestion that Penny suggested that he actually is trying to sabotage the relationship. So then he actually goes and talking to Mandy. And she said, why don't you get a therapist? He's like, yeah, it costs too much. <laughs> and he goes into the fact that, you know, his mom wasn't that, he was, his mother was, you know, as we all seen, you know, his mom. She's not that affectionate type of person. She's more like. She's more like a Vulcan from Star Trek. You, you notice how the, the way the Vulcans teach their kids, if you if you ever watch Star Trek or any of the Star Trek, the, their training in terms of, you know, child rearing. Not really t affection wise. So that's how she was. <sighs> Sorry. And so that's kind of how it was. So that could be a reason why he was subconsciously trying to mess up his relationship because he didn't think he deserved a chick like Penny. And then Penny, when he does talk to Penny about this, she says maybe that she doesn't deserve a guy like Leonard because her fear is that he's gonna marry, he's gonna be with, he's gonna leave her for somebody like him, you know, like Amy or Bernadette, which makes sense. But when you get to her situation, she she fear she she because she said that she was talking to Bennett, Bernadette and Amy. She said that that's usually how she met guys because they was cheating. Uh, their girls were her. So her fear is that it's going to happen to her. Which makes sense. I mean, if that's normally how you met guys by them cheating on the girls, on their girlfriends with you, then yeah, of course you're going to be freaking paranoid when he kisses one chick. And you're like, oh my God, he's going to leave me. He's going to leave me. Really? So, you, so we get into their, their past situations and we understand more of their relationship. And now they have finally moved past this, talked it out. See, that's all they need to do is talk it out. That's all people got to do. Talk it out. So they talked it out and went to have sex. Consummated the, the marriage. Woo. Back to Penny. Not Penny. Sheldon and Amy. Okay, so. <laughs> they're still broke up. You know, Sheldon's not giving her any time to, you know, think about this and, you know, get through her feelings. So. Sheldon actually goes to her house. And he he's tried not you know how he always knocks three times had to say the name, so he gives her a box a box of her things which really wasn't much it was like a scarf and a braid bra that was not hers <laughs> that was Penny but he's trying to make her jealous and then when he leaves he's like Amy 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 
Oh, because he's like, desk works too. Because he had a hood on my desk. You know, he has an OCD. And so then he does his, fun, you know, fun with flag show. And he talks about how pretty much when he goes into a flag, the flag, but he's just, you know, pouring out his relationship. And Amy's, the fact that this kills me though is the fact that Amy is watching the show though. She's like watching the show. It kills me. Like she, she just complained to Shelton over Skype about, I'm, I'm seeing way too much of you, but I'm trying to get through my feelings, but you're watching him on Skype. So. If you don't want to watch, if you don't want to see him that much, don't watch his show. <laughs> you know, that's like me getting over a boyfriend, but I'm sitting there going to his football games. That's not going to help you over, if you're breaking up, that's not going to help you with your breakup, you know. That's just my opinion. So she gets mad because, you know, obviously he's upset and he's, he's upset, but he's using flags to, you know, air his business. And so Amy eventually comes to the house and she's like, you know, Plays to him and she was like, she wants me. <laughs> and just walks off into this room and the show goes off. I love the show so much. So comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what was your favorite part of the night. And I, and I told you part in a previous so a kiss wasn't a big deal. You know, that was just me, you know. But again, comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for the next episode of The Big Bang Theory.